Hey guys, Goshuki here again. I wanted to make a video today talking about trigger stops because I have been getting some questions about like how they work and maybe I've set up trigger stops but they don't work with certain guns, things like that. So I kind of wanted to talk about that in general today. The main focus of the video is going to be the Astro C40 later on because there are some extra options this controller has for the trigger stops that others may not. So I'll have the timestamp here that you can jump to if you're just here for the Astro controller and you're just having issues with the trigger stops. Um, but otherwise, I am going to talk a little bit about how they work in the different types, especially for new people that are kind of new to pro controllers and just people who might be a little confused on setting them up on the Astro controller. So let's let's kind of talk about it. So what is a trigger stop? A trigger stop is a modification you can make on gaming controllers. Uh, that prevent the trigger from traveling the whole way. So basically a trigger stop is there so you can make the tri trigger travel shorter, making it easier to pull the trigger faster. So in a shooting game, which is mainly what you'd use it for, basically it, it lets you shoot faster. So there's really two types of trigger stops, um, and you're really going to have one or the other on your Pro Controller. You're either going to have a physical trigger stop, like you see here, which is you flip this on and it's basically going to restrict you from being able to press the button all the way down. Or you're going to have a software trigger stop, which you can kind of see here, where you program a software to stop the button press at a certain point. Um, main difference being a physical trigger stop, basically it'll stop you from pressing the button. So that one's actually going to make you, it's going to be a little more helpful in, in making you shoot faster because you can't press the button any further down. So you're going to be pressing it quicker. Whereas the software trigger stop, it's going to help you shoot faster, but it's you're still going to be pressing the button down most or all of the way because it's it's more of a mental thing. Um, so that's why sometimes a physical trigger stop is a little better. So with trigger stops, especially with the physical ones that stop the trigger manually, you are going to eventually run into a game or a part of a game uh, where you pull in the trigger and it's just not going to function properly. Um, they're definitely not for racing games. No, if you take these into a racing game, you're probably going to be driving at half speed. Or if you maybe you play Destiny, you go to plot your Sparrow. You might try to go and it's only going half speed, something like that. And that's kind of where it ends for most pro controllers. Um, just kind of a quick overview of the difference and what the trigger stops do. Um, now, if you jumped here from the timestamp, um, you'll know there's a bit more. So... On the Astro controller, we actually have what I kind of talked about earlier. We have both options. So we do have the manual trigger stops on the back of the controller, like I mentioned earlier, as well as software trigger stops here also. And um, that's what I wanted to talk about today. So if you are running into issues in other games with your trigger stops and things like that, Astro has a nice little solution for that by giving you both the best of both worlds, basically. All right, so I'm going to show you now in the software. I created a profile just so we can mess around with it. Um, so if you are having those issues I talked about, the little minor issues with the, um, the trigger stops, go into the trigger here with the controller plugged in, and you'll see this, this incline. So obviously that means if you're pressing the trigger a little bit, it's going to go 20%, 40%, 60%, etc. Um, so I have the right trigger set to no trigger stop and the left trigger does have the trigger stop on so you can see it stops about 50 percent of the way while the right trigger does go all the way now what you're going to want to do to fix any issues in the game you're having with the trigger stops is um you'll notice i mean you're only getting a 50 percent of the button push and some uh, some actions require a hundred percent so we're going to have to move it to where you get that 100 percent press over here down at 40 50 so we're going to bump these figures up so you can't have anything lower be 100%. So you can't have like 100%, 40, 60, 80. So you have to start from the top. So you got 100% here, 100% here. And I would stop at 100% here and then test it out. So what that means is if you're pressing it with the trigger stop on, it's hitting 50%, which you can see right here by the dot. But it's hitting 100% of the of the R2, or I'm sorry, L2 button. And um, as you can see, it kind of matches up with the right trigger. Um, so that's just about it. Just a quick look at something that I really like Astro has implemented into their controller system that allows you to have the best of both worlds, a physical trigger stop 
and a software trigger stop. So that's going to help you in certain games that you might be experiencing issues on. So that's going to be it. Just an overview of trigger stops and a kind of look at what Astro has done in their software to kind of help you out with any issues you might be having with the trigger stops in certain games. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, drop a like, comment below, let me know what you think, and um, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and go Shuki out!